people that can bring the most ridiculous ideas to life. The startup bubble meme has officially gone mainstream. Shows like 30 Rock and The Office are making jokes about ridiculous startups with no revenue model looking for funding. Startups are a tough target for parody, though, because nothing writers come up with is going to be any crazier than some of the real companies people are actually founding. It's a cliché, but it's true, you just can't make this stuff up. And some of the very weirdest, most ridiculous sounding ideas actually get funded. John Rowan to prove we're not being mean-spirited, we're starting with one you've probably heard of already. Blippi lets you link up your credit card and your Twitter account, so that every purchase you make is broadcast to the world. As you read through the 10 other companies we picked, if you're ever wondering what the people behind these startups could possibly be thinking, remember this, Blippi has raised almost $13 million to date. Layoff Space, a social network for the unemployed unemployment line depression TBI what it is, LayoffSpace.com was meant to be a job site that doubled as a social network for the unemployed. How it worked out, the site is dead. Perhaps the problem was timing, Layoff Space launched in April 2007, a year before its target audience really came into its own or perhaps a vertical social network targeting an ever-shifting demographic that people are ashamed to belong to is just a bad idea. Who can say, the QCAT was one of the dot-com era's most spectacular flops QCAT what it is, the QCAT was a cat-shaped barcode scanner that plugged into your computer's keyboard port. Users would use it to scan custom barcodes, or cues, in print advertisements. Scanning a cue would send the user to a website related to the ad. How it worked out, in a lot of ways, the QCAT was ahead of its time. Barcode scanning apps for smartphones are now ubiquitous, and QR codes are widely used as leads.